Yo, what's up, guys? We're back into the driving bad prank on Angry Grandma. I'm keep doing some more Angry Grandma videos for you guys. If you guys like the video, make sure give this video a big thumbs up. Give this video the 20 likes. That's the like goal for this video. Also, I am trying to get to 1,000 subs by the end of the month. So, about 17 days, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs. Very doable. Very, very, very doable. So, if you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It's very much appreciated. It takes two seconds. All you got to do is scroll down, um, swipe down if you're on a phone. If you're on TV, you just press up on the remote and you just press a little subscribe button. It's free. It's just a little way to support me and help out the channel. Um, also, all my socials are down below in the description. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, join the Discord, all that good stuff. That'd be appreciated. Also, the sponsor of my video, W.com. Just check out W.com down below in the description. Get yourself some energy drinks that are really good energy drinks. And you guys will get a little discount code too on it. Discount code is BOYTASTIC1 on your next order. Subscribe to the video, bro. Driving bad prank on the angry grandma. Hey, Graham. What? Can I borrow this? A plunger? Get that fucking thing out of my face! <laughs> what? What are you in a plunger for? I don't want a fucking pl plunger in my fucking face. Get it the fuck out of here. Put it back in the fucking bathroom. Can you get the F off my back? That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a funny shirt. I like Can I shirt borrow name. it? No! What do you need it for? My toilet's clogged at the house and you never got me a housewarming gift. <laughs> housewarming gift. Well, you gift. ain't taking my plunger as big a shit as I take and your daddy takes. We need the fucking plunger. Come on, Granny, please. No. Well, no, put it back where I told you to put the motherfucker back. Jesus. Stop being stingy. I... I mean, you could just go buy your own plunger, Jake. I'm sure you have plenty of money to be able to just go buy your own plunger. It takes literally two seconds. Go to the do go to the dollar store or something and go get a plunger. Being stingy. That's the only fucking one we got. And I ain't giving it to your eyes. Granny! Go to the fucking dollar store and buy you That's literally what I just said. Okay, nice. <laughs> Will you go with me? Maybe. Maybe. Come on. I honestly expect her to just say no, but she actually said maybe. Oh. I think, I think she actually like genuinely enjoys leaving the house. I, I think she does. I think it, she can say to her that she doesn't like going with Jake, but I think she just likes getting out of the house and, you know, doing stuff. So. Kind of like my grandma. My grandma likes to go go leave the house at times too. I so just wanted to borrow it. Being in the house all the time. You ain't borrowing the fucking plunger. And you can bring it in my fucking room and they shit all in it and everything and having it stuck in my face. Bullshit. Stuck in my face. Well, are you still coming to stay the night with me tonight? Maybe. I'll think about it. What do you mean I've you'll heard, think about it? I've heard that one before. I'll think I about it. I had a whole night planned out. I don't give a fuck what you got planned. I was thinking maybe we could go around doing some, like, Christmas caroling and stuff. Oh, my God. What is this deal with Christmas caroling, dude? Like, just... I don't know. I, I don't see the appeal in driving around town with their windows down singing Christmas songs, but... Bullshit! If you want to go Christmas caroling, go right the fuck ahead. And yeah, go by yourself, Jake. I ain't getting out. I need you to harmonize with me. Harmonize. Bullshit. For real, Granny, I've been practicing all year. <laughs> practicing all <laughs> You never sit here laughing. This is the one thing that makes her laugh. Oh, you're my fucking eyes. Listen. Motherfucker. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle, jingle bell, bell rock. rock. Jingle bell. Na, na, um, na, 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 na. I don't know uh, the rest of the words either, to be honest. Go ahead. That's when you come in. Ahead. That's when you come in. Yeah, that's because you forgot the fucking lines. <laughs> I dare uh, you touch it like a fuck out, motherfucker. You Stop! Stop! Don't touch. Touch nothing. I fucking God, I told you, told you. She's so happy just laughing and then all of a sudden flip of a switch just don't touch anything like jeez cuz every fucking time Sorry you to my ears you end just... up breaking the motherfucker or something why my ear itches weird don't touch nothing in my fucking Excuse room me. Has the jingle cat bell, the jingle bell, lately? jingle bell rock. Actually, no, I haven't seen it in a while. The last thing I saw of it was uh when I opened up my back door the other day and there was a little bit of shit on my steps. Bird poop or what? Well, you left your fucking Christmas present. There you go. You come back to shit on you. <laughs>
She's in a good mood today, huh? So, Granny, what are you planning on getting some people for Christmas? Not a fucking thing, because I don't have no money. Fair enough. You are getting your check? Yeah, but I'm not using it on you guys. With my shit. Fuck. I thought you were You think like I draw thousands and thousands of dollars. Fuck. Social Security or something, but brother? Besides that, I, I'm guessing. Uh, I get my check. Yeah, I get my check. But I ain't spending it on you, I thought. Yeah, screw that. I'm saving well, it, it on myself. I'm going to spend it on me going to bingo and shopping and whatever. I'm going to spend Yeah, see, there you go. Reward yourself instead of getting gifts for people that probably don't even care about getting gifts anyway. Spend that motherfucker on me, not your asses. Smart, right? Wonder what that damn FedEx trucks do in there. Maybe delivering packages? Looks like they're delivering boxes. Wow. They're either do doing that or they're wow, fucking really? running the damn place. They're loading the truck up with shit. Huh, what makes you think they would rob it? Fuck, I can go in there and get a lot of fucking stuff. Yeah, Look at all them boxes in there. I wonder if any of the boxes have any plungers in it. Look at all that boxes in his fucking truck. I bet you money that's what he's doing. He's robbing God, that damn eyes. place. Jingle Maybe bell, he could jingle toss me bell. a plunger. I need one. You wouldn't give me a plunger. Fuck no, I ain't giving you my plunger. You want a plunger? You go buy one. It's true. Looks like broken down boxes. If I get a plunger for two or three dollars, probably. Cheap. I don't know. I wouldn't have the foggiest fucking ideal. Ideal. Motherfucker, what are you doing now? My brake uh, pedals uh, are super touchy right now. I don't know why. Is that the driving well, bad part? You your brakes for in the first fucking place. I thought I saw something. Yeah, you see a stop sign right there where you're supposed to fucking stop. Oh, you stupid ice. <laughs> you stop, oh. but you don't stop like that. Son of a bitch. I haven't been able to sleep that much. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> oh. What'd Nothing. you say? Was that a squirrel? <laughs> you don't that squirrel for no a squirrel. There ain't fucking squirrel out there. You keep driving like this, you ISO. You I'm crash. gonna get the fuck out, and I'm gonna walk the fuck home. I don't care. Better than dying in a car crash. Damn, um, ISO. Give me my fucking hat. Motherfucker. Just wanted to see what kind of uh, material it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. What kind you of material? What material? I ain't gonna the fuck out of me. Not wrong. Fucker. Not what wrong. are you doing up in the motherfucking grass? <laughs> Didn't even see it. Didn't, Didn't see the grass. When you see a big rock out there or something, you uh, know it. Motherfucker, where are you going now? You gonna hit that fucking building? Jesus. You can't see that big red letters? What's going I'm on? I'm telling you, let me. I'm saying this right now. I would not want Granny to be my driver, driving trainer or driving instructor or even like help me with driving, period. I feel like she'd just be like, oh, calm down. We're going this way. Get the like, fuck she, out. I feel like she'd just be just a. Just let me the fuck Be out. impossible. What's going on with if you? If you don't straighten this damn fucking driving up. I'm getting the fuck out. I'm going home. I don't care. Let me guess she isn't going to go home. Cause I will get the fuck out. Dad's got his lights on. He's uh, slamming uh, brakes. Hazard lights. Well, what the? Dad, here you go again. I'm telling you the motherfucking truth. I'll take your seatbelt off and when you stop, I'll get the fuck out, you motherfucker. What's going into you? Says Pay you. Pay attention to how you're fucking driving. I'm driving good. <laughs> yeah. Driving good, right. What is he doing? He's Stupid in circles. Ice, motherfucker. What in the fuck are you doing now? Jake! Huh? Stop. Just, just stop in front of damn motherfucking car. What? Stop it! Stop it! You're doing circles? Oh. I promise you I'm going to start driving better. You fucking better. I, I think what would be a funny prank for them? I feel like if, if Jake got like a, a fake uh, beer bottle, maybe not a fake beer bottle, but just get like an actual beer bottle and then put water in it or something and then act like he's drinking while in the car with her.
I think that'd be kind of funny. Next time I get out of this fucking car, I ain't getting back in. I've just been feeling really... Don't. Ooh, you. Oh, hell no. Jake! Wait. <laughs> Jake! Oh! Wait, oh. fucking ass up. Motherfucker. Stop the fucking car. I'm getting out. I'm awake! Yeah, now. You're awake now. Ah, oh, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, what? Wake your fucking eyes up. I'm, That's I'm risky doing out. that, though. I'm getting out of another fucking car, and I ain't getting Even if he's joking, here, I feel like it'd be pretty difficult not to run into something. Sleep and every brother fucking thing Go, go! Fuck you. Fuck you! You want to lay here and take your nap? <laughs> Alone. She's awake, out. that's for sure. I'm getting out of the fucking car. I'm going to the fucking home. So, fuck you! Come on, Greg, in the car! Fuck you, I'll walk home. I'll start driving good! Fuck you! Jesus. Grand! Fuck you! Later that night. See, Granny? Oh, she got back I in. told you we'd make it home in one piece. Yeah, after you drove like a damn dickhead. And you know you'd get me back in them damn woods and fields and shit and I wouldn't get out on you, motherfucker. Because there wasn't no lights. I couldn't see where I was going. I wasn't even <laughs> driving that path. The fuck you wasn't, motherfucker. I figured we'd end up in a ditch between here and home. Well, Granny, now that you're at my house, how do you, you like my game. decorations? There isn't much, but it looks like What fucking decorations? Look at my fireplace. That's a built-in fire. Oh, I guess there's stockings. Oh, on. hell no. Where's my fucking stocking? You got a damn dog stocking up there. You ain't getting him anything, so why, she, why did she get anything, huh? And now she's all mad now because Jake isn't getting her anything, but you can't be mad at her if she doesn't get her, you anything. Okay, Where yeah. the fuck's okay. mine? I see how it is. What do you mean? You got a fucking dog hanging up there. Stocking. Where's my stocking? I figured I'd put your stuff in the dog stocking. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, you're a dog. There's already some dog treats in there for you. Didn't even get me a fucking stocking. Why? There's still time. Christmas ain't till next week. <laughs> Let me guess. It isn't next week. Christmas is a hell of a long ways from next week, motherfucker. Next week. Oh, no, it's this week. It's Thanksgiving. But. He's already had his Christmas stuff up. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Son of a bitch. Jesus. Where's your tree? It's... You ain't got a fucking tree yet. Yeah, dude, It's right there. Uh, what? It's a plant. This? That's your fucking Christmas tree? Yeah. Apparently. Oh, motherfucker. I gotta add some light bulbs and stuff to it. Well, they could probably put your gifts under there. They probably yeah. just fit. We don't got any to put under there, so. Cause I'm gonna wrap you up a big dog's turd. There you go. Put right in the fucking middle of it. I'll put it right in there. So, bitch. I, that wouldn't surprise me if, if Granny did that at some point, though. Like, like genuinely, they just gave him a gift and just actually put dog poop in it. Well, Granny, so I figured since That's I had you over here, gift. we can uh, do our uh, ongoing segment of uh, giving some fans advice and oh, answering a few of their questions. Good. Oh, motherfucker, not that damn bullshit again. They ask me the same fucking questions all the time. It's true. Do you eat shit? Do you eat ice? Do you eat bugs? Motherfuckers don't know how to ask another fucking question. True. All right, Granny, this man wants to know if you and I were abducted by aliens and you had the option to join forces with the aliens, would you? Duh. Fuck no. Huh? Then use that damn brainwave or something and try and pick my brain. Well, at least you wouldn't die because you'd be with the aliens. The government sure can't do anything about us, so, about them. Fuck so. hell no. You'd Dude. be under protection. So what would you do? I tell them they can have you. What do you mean? They could take you. They could brainwave your damn brain. And I know they ain't going to get shit out of that damn thing. Or yours either, to be fair. Or really I'm anybody's. practicing how to speak alien. You've been teaching me. I don't give a damn if you know how to speak alien or not. They still won't get no fucking sense out of it. 
Your granny's better at it. Fuck you! There you go. See, I got better. Yeah, yeah. you got a little better. Okay, Granny, this man wants to know, how scary was it for you to move out of your home state, Tennessee? I'm considering okay, well. moving out of my state to start a new chapter of my life. Do you have any advice for settling into a new place far from home? That's a good question. Yeah, for that once. is a good question. So, how old were you when you ended up moving away from Tennessee? Well, I was 16, but I had all my brothers and sisters. I didn't know you moved to Michigan in 16. Oh, I went to uh, Detroit in 16, when I was 16. But I went back home for a while. Yeah. And then I went back. But I had all my brothers and sisters around me, so. That made it easier to settle in. Yeah. So. Cause that's who I stayed with. So probably the best advice you could give is like friends and family, just like if your friends obviously aren't gonna move with you, or, you know what I mean. Maybe you could keep in touch with them to make it easier. Yeah. You know, and if your brothers not or the same though. Or any kind of loved ones. Or this, is, this is so weird. It's hard for me to even react to it because I'm not used to them actually having like a normal conversation. Going with you. Not like they, some sort they, of trolling. Uh, make you feel more comfortable. Right. Right. That's pretty good advice. You just uh, have <laughs> to. Uh, I mean, do what you gotta do. Yep. You know? This fan wants to know one of your favorite childhood memories or what is her most sentimental item that she owns. So, mm. Heather, what's your favorite childhood memory or what's your favorite item that you own that has a lot of meaning to it? Sorry, guys. It's well, early in the morning. Out. I'm recording this and I had no energy drink, so. Uh, I'm just memory? Straight off. Yeah. You ever Natural have a energy. childhood memory that really just sticks to your head that makes you kind of smile when you think about it? Yeah. Huh. My brother. Okay. Bless his heart, I loved him. Oh. Made an old homemade wagon. <coughs> well, my sister brought my nephew down there, Tommy. We was just like brother and sister. Yeah. And we'd always pull that wagon up to the top of the mountain. By this is so weird, though, guys. It's it's like it, I'm sorry for pausing. By the way, you probably you guys are probably ticked off by that pause right in like the worst moment. But I just want to pause and say it. It's so weird feeling that, like actually hearing them talking and actually having like a normal conversation that doesn't involve Jake being annoying on purpose or like some sort of trolling going on. It's actually like a normal conversation. Uh -huh. It never happens. You know, yeah. Big hill. Write it down. Well, what kind of wagon was it? An old homemade wagon. Oh, I'm Made out of, uh, like, two by, not two by fours, but round planks. Yeah. You know, and old, uh, rims, like rims. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they were the narrow ones. Yeah. They weren't the big wide ones. And we... <laughs> what color was the wagon? Here we go. I think it's starting to get to the point where you just start asking stupid questions to take her oh, off. Oh, motherfucker, it wasn't no color. And we had a rope as... To pull it? To pull it and to steer it. Right. Well, anyway, my... <laughs> Damn. My nephew... Like I said, we were like brother and sister. Yeah. Me and him... Decided we was going to ride the wagon. Yeah. Just me and him. PJ and them wouldn't let us do it. I'm just know, waiting for Jake to say something. Well, Tommy had on this brand new ja jacket. Yeah. You know, nice jacket. Oh, he was so proud of that jacket. What kind of jacket was it? I can't remember what kind it was. Anyway, was it a was it a leather one? I don't know. It wasn't no fucking leather one. It was a damn jacket for a kid. Well, we got up to the top so of the it hill. Was it, it wasn't a winter. Was no, it? it was a jacket. All right. You know, like these Letterman jackets, but it didn't have the letters on it. Okay. Okay. Come on, Jake. Shut up and let her tell a story. So we got to wag it up top of the hill. 
I'm the head one. I'm the driver. You're pushing it. No. Pulling. When we go down the hill, you're I'm guiding it. You're steering it. Wow, really? Well, Tom jumped on the back of it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just jumped on. I told him, I said, you hold? Yep. So, here we go. Down the and hill? It, yeah, down the hill. It, it, that wagon's a bouncing like hell. Yeah. Well, it bounced Tom off the back of it. A nail caught his damn jacket. Yeah. And the Ow. end of the story, when he got to the bottom of the, uh, we got to the bottom of the hill. Yeah. He didn't have no fucking jacket. It ripped. Oh, it tore it all the hell, dragging him down that hill, and I couldn't stop. We didn't have no brakes on it. So what ended up? What ended up happening to the jacket? I don't know what happened to it, but he didn't have one when he got down there. All tore up. And then another time, my. Uh, niece, she was a lot older than me. Yeah. Wanted how to old, write, how much? How much older? I don't know how much older she was. But she wanted to ride the wagon. Yeah. My mom told her. At least Jake's being annoying with the questions, but still letting her get to the end of the story. You know what I mean? That would be annoying. No. If you just kept talking and not yeah. letting it happen. You don't ride the wagon. And don't take Judy on that wagon. Was this before or after the Tommy incident? Yeah, I can't remember. It was after, I think. Well, anyway, she had on a pair of these Daisy Duke shorts right up to the nub. Yeah. You know? So we got we got the wagon pulled up there. She got on. She was going to steer, you know? Yeah. I said, okay. So I was smart. I got behind her and put my arms around her. Yeah. Well, he was going down the hill, and there was like a little road at the bottom Yeah. that we would cut. We'd hit that road, we'd cut real fast, and it would take us off the road. You know, that's where we would stop, because on the other side wasn't nothing but blackberry bushes. Yeah. Mm. And you know what a blackberry bush is, don't you? It's a it big the, bush the with thorns and, on it yeah. and everything. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. So we're going down that hill, we're just the flying. Mama was watching us. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Well, I seen what she was doing, so I just hunkered up, just as, you know, just as little as all the protection I could get. Yeah. Because I know she was going across that damn road. She went across that road, and I tell you, she got scratched up from one end to the other. Mama hollered, Judy, you okay? I said, yeah, I'm fine, Mom. I didn't get a fucking scratch on me. But that bitch, she got scratched up all over. Oh, we had, used to have some good old times on that wagon. PJ and Dad would make us pull that damn thing, and it heavier than hell, up to the top of the hill and promise us that they would give us a ride. And him and Fred and Dad, would, my other brother, would jump on it and take off and leave us. Also, sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm just, it, I honestly didn't expect there to be this kind of segment in here. So for the most part, I'm just trying to listen and understand they it. Leave. You know? They leave it. They take off just flying down that hill after they got us to pull it up there and say that uh, they was going to give us a ride back down. We was going to ride the wagon back down with them. Yeah, we did. They leave us. What's one thing that you love now that Jake has moved out? Everything. My <laughs> peace and quiet. That is true. You don't mean that. The Actually, fuck I don't. I don't have nobody to holler at or fuss at or nothing else. Granny, when I, when I lived with you, I was as quiet as a church mouse. <laughs> a church mouse? <laughs> what an analogy. Holy. Be quiet about certain shit. You wasn't quiet that night. You come sneaking in my bedroom trying to piss in my refrigerator. What? You always say that. It's not you true. You did. No. The hell you didn't. Cause I raised up the bed and I said, what the hell are you doing? You took off out of that door. You better put put some context to it. Let them know the story. Because it's Is not drunk true. Or something? It's true. It is definitely true. What's the story? Well, I was in bed asleep. And I heard somebody ease my door open and come in my room. Here comes Jake. And I heard him open my refrigerator, and I raced up in the bed, and it was Jake. 
and he was starting to piss in my refrigerator, and I said, Jake, what in the hell are you doing? You pissing in my refrigerator? Buddy, he shot out that door, and he never come back in there no more. You're, what the hell? you're missing an important part of the story. Uh, okay. What? I was drinking. I was drunk. Okay, that's what I figured. Well, that's You can't your... just say I was going to piss in your fridge. He might have been drunk, but that's his excuse, because he knows better than the bathroom was right next to his fucking room, and he comes in my room and wants to piss in the refrigerator. I think you were having a dream because I don't remember oh, going boy, to pee nowhere. Shit. I went in your yeah, room Granny, to get dreaming. water. You played hell. All right, Granny, this man wants to know what is the worst prank that I have ever pulled on you? Uh-oh, this would be interesting. Oh, God, I don't really know. It's too many of them. But I didn't like those uh, bombs he used, especially the purple one. And I didn't like the, the uh, smoke ones, yeah. one either. The smoke bomb? Tocamentos, probably. The smoke cannon? Yeah, got you, got you it all was pink. smoke that come out of it. What was it? It was all kind of, it was like a, fuck, I don't know what it was. My bedroom, you go in my bedroom, it's still staying on my fucking walls. He got me twice with the purple one. That was the worst one. I was just trying and to a help. Green one. I was trying to help paint or your walls. Or a pink one. Yeah, right. I'll paint your walls. Still right. sweeping that fucking shit up. This fan says they don't have any question or anything, but they would just like to wish me and you a very happy upcoming Thanksgiving. Hey. And a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Well, thank you very boy. much, sweetheart. Well, we also wish you guys one. You and your family. Yep. And happy have a good, safe, and happy Thanksgiving and Easter. Fourth of July. Fourth of July, <laughs> my eyes. All right, Granny. This fan asked a really good question. Some music about. It's actually kind of like a proposal. And yeah. I, I, I'm wondering the question myself. What my is sale. it? Granny, how yeah. would you like the honors of coming to move in with me? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> they ain't no fucking way. Are they crazy? I, I caught rid of your ass. I sure the hell ain't moving in with you. Well, no, when no. I leave, I leave on my own. I'll be by my fucking self come before on, I Graham. come back. Come on, grab my ass. Hell no, I ain't putting up with your damn shit. Not no fucking oh, more. She's done I might now. come stay the night with you. But one night, and that's it. I'm going to fuck home. Hell no. These damn questions are something else. That's fuck fuck out. Hell no! That Why really you set her off, with huh? Me? Cause I just got rid of your fucking eyes. I ain't moving in with you. You miss me, and you know it. Bullshit! <laughs> Come on! Probably not yet, but she'll realize. Parties probably. all the time. There you Fuck go. Fuck you. Oh you. You're full of fucking <laughs> shit. You hear? Full of shit. You Hell heard? no! I. Coming and moving in with your fucking eyes. Fuck that. Please. That pissed me off. Hell no. No. Can we answer some I'm more not questions? Doing it. No. Jesus. Yes. No. They're actually good questions, though. I you fucking off. Fuck that shit. Don't be that way. Don't be that way, my <laughs> damn eyes. You got me this way. Granny, you don't even have to pay rent. Yeah, I don't think I would though. I think I would have to stick it. Think about it, sleep on it. I put up Hell a drink. No, I think. At least I won't get woke up with somebody trying to piss in my refrigerator <laughs> and break every fucking thing I got and everything else. Hell no. That was a funny video. That's a good video though, guys. Genuinely, it was actually a good video. You know, they're, they're talking logically. They're, it wasn't just full on just trolling the entire time. I mean, there was portions, but for the most part, very solid video. It's actually one of the underrated ones. You can actually just kind of sit there and watch. If you guys like the video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Give this video to 20 likes. It's the like level of this video. Also, try to get me to 1,000 subs. If you aren't currently subbed and you're and you're watching my video right now, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this. 
Also, check out all my social medias down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Join the Discord. Join and follow up my Twitch and things like that. It'd be appreciated. Yeah, you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.